Tom Brady, before he left the New England Patriots to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, wrote a letter to the Players' Tribune, and he said, Right now I have things to prove to myself. The only way is through. If I don't go for it, I'll never know what could have happened. If I stayed at the bottom of a mountain and I told myself I could scale the highest peak, but I never did anything, what's the point? I think that right there is what separates successful people from unsuccessful people. Successful leaders from unsuccessful leaders. There are many times when people will say something, whether it's a dad, a mom, a brother, a teacher, a coach, whatever, and it just sticks with you. A long time ago, a successful businessman told me something that I'll never forget. He said the difference between successful leaders and unsuccessful leaders is how they view challenges. He said that successful leaders never talk about failure. Losers worry about failure. Winners worry about something else. Regret. I regret I didn't grow faster. I regret I didn't spend more time with this person or that person. I regret I didn't take that risk. I regret I didn't try that. Regret is what eats away at the successful and smart people. Now the other side of this, from a leadership perspective, is that you have to have a vision for yourself that you believe in. Your life shouldn't be solely based on the attainment of material items. I don't think anybody, or I doubt very few people know who Flama and Crixus are, two of the most famous gladiators of all time. And I'd be willing to bet hundreds of years from now, Tom Brady's seven championships won't be remembered. He'll be just like Flama and Crixus. So for me, good leadership is about the values you represent in the pursuit of your goals. If it's, only about, if it's only about accumulating more championships, more degrees, more money, nicer cars, a bigger house, then your legacy will die with you, or at least not soon after you're gone. And this is where understanding yourself is so important, and why I argue that understanding the self should be the very first step in any leadership development program. You know, what are the values that fuel your pursuit? Kobe Bryant used to say, don't look at what I've done, look at how I did it and why. Similarly, Gandhi was known of saying, my life is my message. So I want you to think about that. What do you symbolize in your pursuit? What does your work inspire in other people? How does your work make others feel? And what do those feelings inspire them to do and act on? As a leader, your influence is a kind of spell that you can put on people in a way. And if you are doing it the right way, for the right reasons, and only you know what that is, it can be immensely powerful.